Collateral. Damn, Terminator. You scary. How you guys doing today? My name is Mike Strike, and I'm Bach. And today, I'm bringing you a game with the Model 1887, aka the Terminator gun. And this is definitely one of my favorite setups. For one, I got Sitrep Pro, so I can sound whore. And then I also got Ballistic Vest, so I have extra head. And it's always good to have the advantage on everyone. You know, having extra health, definitely a big help in hardcore. And it's definitely good to have an unfair advantage. Now look at the range on the model 1887. He bled the first time, but I came back. If it bleeds, we can kill it. And I'm not even using range or damage on this on this gun. And oh. it seems like predator missiles always go for me. I don't know, but they always do. And that's why I usually roll with the trophy system, but I assume that that guy's predator missile wouldn't kill me. But don't ever assume, because assuming makes an ass out of me and you. And I can't believe that guy didn't even see me, like, lay on the ground. I think that laying prone that makes you invincible. And never do that. Um, I tried to challenge that guy. I was testing out the range of the Molly Tank 7. And... But look, he came back. <laughs> Did I, fucking... I baited his ass in. Like, don't be like that guy. It just makes an easy kill for me, so be like that guy actually. Never mind. And yeah, I picked up a assault rifle, and I already noticed like, damn, I'm running super slow. That's not the way I roll. I like to run fast and swift and slide. Oh, and the reason my uh, secondary was just a single scorpion is because I uh, I had it on extended mags instead of the Kimbo. That was just my bad. But I didn't really use it this game, so yeah. Just picked up a submachine gun so I can run faster. You have S on, but you have no idea I'm even here. So that's good. Always flank. That's, that's basically what I base my whole play style on. My main goal is to shoot you in the back. So the other day, I got into a game of hardcore domination. I usually just play with myself or one other person, like Jayhawks. So I'm in the pre-game lobby, right? And I noticed that six other players had the same clan tag. It was DGAF. Just don't give a fuck. Like, they're clearly badass, right? Because they just don't give a fuck. But obviously they don't because they have to roll in herds so they can actually attempt to win at a game. So I don't have my mic in, right? But I can still hear them. And one of the guys is saying, Damn, dude, you haven't lost a game all night. <laughs> I stick my thumb in my butt and suck on my own balls. Like, clearly just like bragging about like his score and, oh, God. Like, he's so big-headed and... <laughs> but these are the kind of people that... I love to play the most. Like, I look forward to seeing a clan. I'm playing by myself or with only one other person, and I see a clan. I'm like, yes, fucking clans, fucking make them back out. And <laughs> I know that sounds like a little arrogant on my part as well, but hey, man, I'm all about you know I'm the smack talking, but to a joking extent though, like to the point where I'm bragging about my skills, like that's a problem. But anyway. The game type was Hardcore Domination on the mission, and everyone knows, if you play Domination on that map, the A spawn is a fucking bitch to get out of, like, I made it my objective to, because we spawn at, at C first, I made it my objective to run straight to B, and then just hold B for my life, because if they get C and B, and the other team is trapped at A, you're fucked, you're fucked. You can't get out. And when you're playing with a bunch of randoms, there's no way that you can coordinate a plan to push up unless, you know, the other team pushes you into the A spawn further enough that you spawn at C. Oh, and right here, I'm just like, oh shit, stealth bomber. No! Oh, thank God. Man, I was like, one away too. That would sucked. I'm getting off topic. Anywho, we eventually held C and B for a good the duration of the game. And all of a sudden, there's no one to play. Like, they all backed out. <laughs> like it gave the 20 second countdown. Amity's forfeiting. And what is the moral of the story? Whatever you learned today? Absolutely nothing. 